Hi, I'm Ryan, analyst here at Talos Jones, and I'm here with the DJI T50, and I'm here to create a, show you how to create a connection route while you're mapping out your obstacles and doing your field planning and everything. All right, so we have our field here, and uh, we have our HD map from a previous video, if you've seen it, um, and we're just gonna use that for the updated location. So first thing you wanna do is you're gonna be creating, you know, normal procedure, creating your boundary. So I'm really quick, just going to make a boundary. And on this boundary, I'm going to include a obstacle to block the drone from where it's going. So let's say right here. So we have our obstacle and then for this boundary, I'm just gonna make it bigger so it can spray a little bit more. All right, so let's say we have this obstacle right here and we need our drone to fly around that obstacle in order to get to the field. So once we have our field set and everything, just do the normal save, save the task, and we have it here. So you're going to click use and on the right side, you can see connection point. The drone already maps out a uh, connection point itself or its own personal route to avoid the obstacle, but you can see on the right, we have the connection point. So if you want to manually do it yourself, you can. So we just like connection add point, point and then it creates that first point. And if you want to add a second one, it'll create a second one right here. All right. So once you have both of your connection points, so you can, you don't have to have two. You can have only just one if you really want to. So if I could delete that one, you can see it already goes to that first connection point. But just for the sake of this thing, we're going to just add one right here and just to show that you can add multiple connection points it's just a matter of properly suits your operation cool so we have our two connection points right here and we're not going to really worry about the spray settings since it's not a focus so i'm just going to go ahead and click start And when the drone takes off, you can see it go to that first connection point, then the second one, and then continuing the mission from the second one. All right, so that was the first case. So that first case, it's showing you how to create a connection point on the outside of the boundary. Now the second one I'm gonna show you is creating a connection point on the inside of the boundary. So we're just gonna do the normal, as I showed before, creating the connection points um, on the boundary. So we'll just do our normal at our outside ones. And now let's say there is an obstacle within the boundary and you need to start from a certain point. So we can add a, we can actually add a connection point on the inside of the boundary as well. So the drone will go to that route and inside the boundary and go from there to start its task. So now we have four connection points. You'll see on entry, it'll go to the first, second, third, then fourth, and then begin the task. And then on exit, it'll go to the fourth, third, second, and first, and then return back to home. So everything's pretty much good to go. I'm gonna up the application range just so we can see it. And up the speed. All right, now lower the microns and everything's good to go. So now once that's done, we just press start. All right, so that is how you add a connection point to the T50. From both cases, case one and two, you can see that you can add both connection points on the outside and inside the boundary. Um, what would this be used for? If you have a field and let's say it's an L-shaped field or 
any type of thing where there's trees in the center of your field, if you need to, from that starting point, if those trees or those objects or anything are obstructing that starting point, you would use these boundary points to, or connection points, to make the route to the drone, from the drone to the starting task, a lot safer and a lot more smoother for your drone operation. And it'll lower, a lot, lower the risk of your drone having a potential crash or having any sort of interaction with any type of obstacle coming nearby. So these connection points are very necessary for your operation, especially if you have a complicated field, anything by surrounding trees or anything uh, obscuring anything inside the field as well. But yeah, that's the purpose of these connection points for safety and for proper drone flight management. Again, I'm Ryan, the analyst here at Talos Drones, and that is how you create a connection point with your T50.